my family carnival of so called expert ingrid seward is saying that harry and meghan need king charles more than he needs them in a discussion on gb news about whether or not next year we'll see the raw rift being healed it's the question they're asking on gb news you know my family sometimes i do have to ask myself what's the point of you asking this question of whether or not next year we'll see this raw rift being healed if you know fully well you are continuing with your smear campaign against Harry and Meghan on the orders of senior members of the royal family. Why ask whether or not next year we will see the royal rift being healed when you know fully well, based on your own words, you are saying or trying to insinuate that King Charles has no need for Prince Harry and Meghan. But then you're discussing whether the rift will be healed or not. While trying to imply or say that Harry and Meghan aren't important to Charles. That Charles doesn't need them. You know, what's the point? I do have to ask you that question, my family. What do you, why do you think they do this stuff. Why do they say in one moment, will the rift be healed next year? And then the next sentence is an attack on Harry Meghan. The next sentence is trying to undermine Harry Meghan to prop up William and Kim Moulton. I mean, don't you realize that one of the reasons as to why Harry Meghan fled the UK in the first place was because of what UK media were doing. You know, undermining Harry and Meghan, smearing Harry and Meghan, trying to destroy Harry and Meghan's reputation to prop up William and Moulton. And you're doing the same thing on TV years after Harry and Meghan half left the UK and then you're asking the question, next year, are we going to see the rift being healed? What's the point? What's the point? You know, what's the point? And to me, what you're showing me is that first of all, you have no interest in this raw rift being healed or repaired. You have completely no interest whatsoever. You know? And clearly, the UK tablet press have no interest in seeing the royal rift being repaired and that is a fact my family first of all kindly hear what my family ingrid seward said on gb propaganda news my family please kindly look at this clip please my family uh, do you think the royal rift will continue into 2024 I am um, sadly, I think it probably will, because um, Harry has been very clear that he doesn't want to come to the UK unless he has the kind of protection he expects. And this is an ongoing court case. Well, most of his court cases are ongoing, but this in particular is ongoing with the Home Office. And um, he's, he really has put his foot down on this. Obviously, um, King Charles wants to see his son and his grandchildren, and last summer he apparently invited them to Balmoral, which they turned down. Um, My family, the last time I saw the media saying that somehow Prince Harry was invited to Balmoral was when Harry came to the UK for the Well Child Awards. That's when I remembered that my family they were writing articles saying that you know prince harry is welcome to balmoral that the king has basically told prince harry you know what you can't stay at uh 
you know, a royal residence. They say that Harry had asked to stay inside a royal residence before heading off to the Invictus Games. And that Charles said, you know what? Come over to Balmoral. That's when my family remembered what happened. And also, before that, they were saying that Harry, William, and Charles are going to have peace talks and that Meghan was not invited. That Meghan will not be a party to those peace talks. And I remember telling you, my family at the time, if indeed there is any kind of peace talks, whereby the target of the smear campaign is not present, whereby Megan isn't present, the person who has been smeared on a daily basis for years isn't there. In my family, you can't call that peace talks. Thankfully, my family, it never happened. Prince Harry never, you know, went to any kind of, never had any kind of peace talks with Charles or William or my family, you know, the other senior members of the royal family, or Kate or Camilla, Harry never had any kind of peace talks with them. Harry went there to the UK, attended the World Child Awards, and supported those beautiful children who have serious, serious illnesses and gave them love and support, you know? And then after that, the next day, Harry went to pay his respects to the place whereby his late grandmother was laid to rest. And after that, he went straight to the Inn Victor's Games in my family, Düsseldorf, my family, in Düsseldorf. And after he left, that's when you began hearing, oh, you know what? Harry had asked to stay in a royal residence and that Charles had turned him down. He was told, you have to give a so-called advance notice and that, you know what? Charles had told him to come over to Balmoral and there's no way he could have come there because the Invitas Games, my family, Harry had to attend the opening ceremony whereby he gave my family a speech whereby he received a standing ovation at the opening ceremony. There's no way he could have, you know, my family flown all the way to Balmoral to see and speak to Charles. But my family, as always, you know, my family, that happened. What happened is they were trying to trap Prince Harry. They were trying to trap him. And uh, cause him to do something that clearly will hurt him and Megan's marriage. You, you, you can't have peace talks. And the target of the smear campaign isn't there. Those are not peace talks. My family, that's what happened. And it wasn't they that... He and Megan were there. And they, they were had been invited to Balmoral. No, my family. It was just Harry. It was just Harry. Not like what Ingrid Seward is saying that Harry and Megan had been invited to Balmoral and that they, they they turned down. My family, it's a lie. First of all, she's lying on TV. My family, she's lying on TV. It's only Harry, who they say was told to go to Balmoral. Without Megan, my family. And clearly, that was a trap, and I'm happy that Harry did not fall for that trap. I also don't believe really that Prince Harry had asked to stay inside a royal, my family, residence. I also feel like that's just more lies created and spread also by the UK tabloid press. You know? So my family, basically, that is what happened. My family at the time. It was in day that he and Megan had been invited the media already was saying, even before Harry arrived in the UK, that the royal family were planning peace talks and that Meghan is to be kept out of those peace talks. It's a trap. And I'm happy that Prince Harry did not fall for that trap. You can't have peace talks, once again, and the main target of the smear campaign is not present. So my family, Ingrid Seward here already, she's lying. And she's someone also who said some negative stuff about Meghan Markle that my family should even scare you and me. Now my family, these things that the rhetoric of the UK media, how they speak about Meghan Markle. If you ever wonder where the threats towards her Meghan come from, it comes from the UK tablet press. It is they, 
my family are bringing out the worst in people using the constant negative rhetoric about Meghan Markle. And my family also remind you what Ingrid Seward said back in the year of 2020. My family. I want to, I want to quote her exact words. Once again, these are not my words. These are the words of Ingrid Seward. My family, you've seen lying on GB News, saying that somehow Harry and Meghan have been invited to Bamoral. All lies, my family. Please kindly hear this, what she said back in 2020, my family. I want to quote my family her words. And I quote. She said, and I quote, the rift between brothers Prince William and Prince Harry will only be healed if they suffer an awful tragedy. My family, Ingrid, see words, very own words. That the rift can only be healed if Harry and William suffer an awful tragedy. My family, and that she said, my family once again, and I quote, that I rather doubt that they, Harry and William, will ever get back to how they used to be. I really don't think so. I think that that's probably a broken relationship. And then Ingrid Seward said this, and I quote my family. Here's the part I want you to hear my family. And I quote her words. I think perhaps if something happens to Catherine or Megan, the boys would be together again. But as long as their ladies are there and their families are there, if there was an awful tragedy, it would bring them together. But otherwise, I don't think that that re relationship will be mended. But that is a really personal point of view and I might not be right. Ingrid, see what said. And my family, you all know exactly who my family, she was talking about my family. You know, she meant if something happens to Megan, not even Kim Moulton. That's what Ingrid Seward was trying to say. My family, because the target of the media, the person they want to destroy, the person they want to abuse out of Harry's life has always been Meghan Markle, the mother of Harry's children. And they are still trying to remove Meghan from Harry's life. So, so my family, basically, the person who says that, my family, and still has a platform, once again, he's saying that Harry and Meghan need King Charles more than he needs them. Now, my family, basically, all this rhetoric, all this talk, all these threats, make no mistake, it doesn't just come from the UK media, from Ingrid Seward. It comes from uh, the royal family, from Charles, from William. This is their rhetoric. This is their rhetoric. When Harry tells us he was afraid of what would happen to his wife, to him. You know? Especially when he and Megan were stripped of their security. My family, this rhetoric should tell you exactly why Harry and Megan were scared. This rhetoric of Ingrid Seward, of the UK tablet press in general, Daily Mail, Santa with the Mirror, Jeremy Clarkson's vile column, should tell you why Harry and Megan were scared, were terrified of losing security. My family. And sadly, this rhetoric full of hate that has been spread by the media has brought out the worst in people. You know, my family, it has brought, it's brought out the worst in people, really. And to see what, you know, Ingrid Seward keeps on saying, my family, keeps on yapping about that somehow, you know, Harry and Meghan need Charles more than he needs them. She wishes. She wishes that Harry and Meghan would need Charles more than, you know, Charles needs them. Because clearly, 
the ones who are, who are constantly whinging, moaning and complaining about Harry Meghan constantly on a daily basis is indeed Charles, William and the royal family. The thing is, all they have to do is just call off the hounds and ask the UK media to stop the smear campaign against Harry Meghan. And the UK media would listen and they'd stop the smear campaign against Harry Meghan. They back off of Prince Harry Meghan. That's what would happen. But the sad thing is, as we learn from the byline Times exclusive, is that the royal family is the one who have they're the ones who have signed off on this press assault of Harry Meghan on a daily basis in the family and anyone in their circle, companies they work with, you know, Netflix, my family, any person who's seen around Harry Meghan sadly is normally targeted. You know, and all of that is being done by senior members of the royal family. They are the ones who are behind this constant smear campaign against Harry Meghan. And they refuse to call it off. At the same time, whenever Harry Meghan chooses to speak about this family, they're like, oh, you know what? We members of the royal family are keeping a, a dignified silence when that isn't the case. Their propaganda arm, the UK tabloid press, speak on behalf of the royal family. And how they speak is very, very abusive towards Prince Harry and Meghan. And by now, every one of us, my family, must have seen that. Everyone in the world right now must have seen that. You know? Even victims of my family, Uvalde, who have lost their loved ones in family, who lost their loved ones during the Rob Elementary School shooting, my family, have gotten to see, have gotten to be able to, to see really how this hate campaign against Harry Meghan is so, so unhinged whereby someone can give you proof of how Megan has supported them, shown them love, been with them during the most difficult times after they've lost, you know, an uncle, an aunt, a son. Despite Megan showing them this love support, you see trolls online attacking the families of victims who lost their loved ones in Uvalde because they dared my family, speak the truth about Meghan Markle. They dared show a video of Meghan Markle calling a family member to ask how their kids are, how they are doing. During the difficult time, they're losing a parent, a mom, a dad. You can be shown evidence, but you attack the person, those are attacking the person who have given evidence showing that Meghan has shown support to them behind the scenes. You know? Where cameras aren't even visible. She's shown support and loved them. But despite even someone seeing that, despite being able to, to see what Megan is doing, trolls online were so full of hate, were being taught to hate by the UK media, keep on spreading lies and targeting anyone who speaks the truth about Meghan Markle, while they constantly spread lies about Meghan with the attempt or aim to break her, to destroy her reputation, to try and ensure that no company wants to work with Meghan Markle or Prince Harry. You know? Remember, that's also a goal of the smear campaign. To ensure that no company, no brand wants to associate with or work with Prince Harry and Meghan. You know? That to Harry Meghan aren't able to make enough money and that they have to beg Charles for money. And Charles can command Harry, you know what, drop your lawsuit against UK Media and Harry will oblige. You know, that's what UK Media want. You know, and my family, I do hope that Harry Meghan are never ever reliant on Charles or William for anything. And that's why, as I've always said really, is that Harry Meghan must never be at the mercy of William, K. Milton, Charles, and Camilla. My family, please can you also continue hearing of my family, Ingrid, see what my family, you know, also my family has said kindly. And last summer, he apparently invited them to Balmoral, which Lies. they turned down. Lies. Um, 
I, I feel that and Meghan and Harry need the king and his blessing far more than the king needs them, sadly. So I, I feel we will be seeing them. We'll certainly be seeing Harry because he's got to reappear for some court cases. My family, you've heard what Ingrid Seward has said. And yes, Ingrid, you are going to be seeing Prince Harry. Yes, Ingrid, you will be seeing Prince Harry in his court cases against you, the UK tablet press, for being harassing him, Meghan, and also his kids, Archie, and also Lilibet, that are my family. My family, you know, Ingrid Seward is someone who, first of all, as you've seen, is a liar. However, he does say something. My family is, you know, basically the logic, what comes from, you know, Charles. Because Charles views himself as someone who, that Harry and Meghan need, need him more than, you know, he needs them. That's a message from Charles to the public, to Prince Harry and Meghan. And that's why I keep saying that independence is important. Being independent is something which is important for Prince Harry and Meghan. That they must never ever in their lives ever be at the mercy of Charles, William, Kate, or Camilla for anything. My family, even Archie and Libertana, they must never be at the mercy of Charles, William, Kate, or Camilla for anything because they're never going to treat them well. They're never going to show them respect or love. They're, they're not. My family. They're not. You know, and, and we have seen really how Archie also and Lilibet have been treated by Charles. And my family, they have not been treated as if they were members of, you know, Charles' family. You know? They've been treated as if, you know, Archie and Lilibet are are not King Charles' grandkids. That's how Archie and Lilibet have been treated. And we all know why. Because of their race. So my family, you know, it puzzles me also. It puzzles me so much to see how anyone can speak about how are we going to heal or mend this rift when, first of all, this mail campaign is ongoing. It hasn't stopped. And it's ongoing with the full approval of the royal family. So it shows, first of all, the royal family have no interest in healing or mending the rift. They only have an interest in Harry Meghan being painted as the villains in the story. And they being painted as the victims who Prince Harry Meghan have, you know, exposed in the Harry Meghan documentary or through Harry's atmosphere. In my family, some people refuse to believe that senior members of the royal family are briefing the media Negative stories about Harry Meghan. Yet every single time they see a negative story about Meghan Markle, without proof, without evidence, they believe everything. However, when Harry and Meghan choose to speak up and share the story about what happened to them, about the cruelty that they had been subjected to by senior members of the royal family, like Charles, like Prince William, you know, someone doesn't want to hear that. They say, Keep quiet, don't say anything. Keep quiet, you know? Because people don't want to, to, to ruin, don't want that fantasy of the royal family ruin for them. First of all, they aren't a family. They're a farm. They're a business hell-bent on self, you know, preservation. And they're willing to even sacrifice their own or eat their own if it means they'll survive. If it means the family that, you know, the heir to the throne will get the good press, will get, you know, the attention. My family. You know? That's how normally my family they are. And it's really, really so sad. It's really so sad to see how people who married the royal family, like Meghan Markle, like Diana, have been poorly treated by the farm, by the royal family. It's it's so sad to see. You know? So for me, I do hope that, you know, Prince Harry Meghan, first of all, keep on being independent, my family. Keep on pursuing financial independence and make so much money 
make so much money for themselves, for their kids. That way they are never ever at the mercy of Charles or William for anything. I don't want to, I don't want to see Archie Lipidana being at the mercy of Prince William's kids, my family, or the Wikimedia. You know, they are biracial. And the fact is, and you know this to be true, UK media are never going to treat them well. They are never going to treat them well. You know, even yesterday I was telling someone that the thing is about Archie Pitana is that UK media, even if they are to grow up in the royal family, in the royal fold, in the UK, and let's say, you know, UK media can, can see them next to George, Charlotte, Lewis, do you think they treat them well, with respect, with dignity? You know? Trust me when I say, if Charlotte is put, is, is put even or seen crying, and then Archie, all a little bit is next to her, my family next to her. They'll be used as scapegoats. They'll be, they'll be, you know, attacked by trolls online on the Wikimedia. You know, because my family, you've seen how Wikimedia are racist. And from them, from the Wikimedia, it's so sad that really they want to be, you know, you've seen how they want to, they just want to be racist in peace. My family, we're never going to allow that. We're never going to allow you Kimia to behave unethically or be racist in peace we are, we are never ever going to allow that and uh my family that's why really you know i do fear for for arch and Lipetan. but i do know that the parents will protect them keep them safe from the media and also from trolls online you know i do i do know that the parents are working so hard to keep them safe and protect even my family their privacy that way in the future you can be, you know, don't, don't, don't claim that they know Archie or Libertana. You know, that way that, that my family doesn't happen. So my family, you know, UK media must never have any kind of access towards Archie and Libertana. And Archie and Libertana must never be at the mass even of William and Kate's kids. And all this talk about somehow, you know, it's a loss for Archie and Libertana that somehow, you know what, they deserve to know they're all cousins. My family... It would be nice, yes, if they do know their royal cousins. But it's also nice if they're kept away from them. My family, you all know why. That way, Archie and Lipidana don't become the new scapegoats for the royal family. The new scapegoats for the monarchy. You know? Duncan Lancome words will always, my family, remind me of that. Of how he said that when Archie comes of age, you came in, you're going to have fun. And you all know what fun means to the UK media. So, so my family, they don't want Archie and Lipidana around their other old cousins. You know, because they want, they want them to be happy. No. UK media want money. And also they do want to be able to gain that access to Archie Lipidana. To be able to say that they know them. That they have inside information my family about them. And to profit off of them. And I do hope that Harry Meghan never ever allowed that to happen, my family. Because first of all, how they have kept their kids safe, my family, truly is amazing. Truly, truly is amazing. And may they continue doing so, my family. My family, you tell me. You are my family about what we have just discussed, my family. I want to hear your opinion. God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lipetana and Doria Waglan. And all of you members of the squad at home, he never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. UK media must stop this stuff about, you know, is next year we're gonna, are we going to heal or mend this rift? You all know they aren't interested in that being healed. What they are interested in is having control over the lives of Prince Harry and Meghan. That's what they want. What they are interested in is making money off of Harry and Meghan's kids. That's what they are interested in my family what they are interested in is for prince harry to drop his cases against uk media that's what they are interested in my family that's what uk media want my family i hope that they never ever you know destroy or ruin the lives of prince harry and Meghan. because clearly also my family that's what uk media want to be able to achieve my family with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever and may God bless you, my family. Even someone said this about, you know, in response to what Ingrid Silver family has said. 
This smear campaign has been going on for years now. Even after Harry Meghan fled the UK. Leave all this narrative back in 2023. Focus on your so-called working roles. In 2024, here on out and leave Harry and Meghan alone. My family, I wish that they could leave Harry and Meghan alone. I do wish that UK media could leave Harry and Meghan alone and just focus on the taxpayer-funded royals they have in the UK. But my family, clearly, they don't get clicks from the members of the royal family back in the UK. It's only Harry and Meghan who they get, you know, clicks from, who sell papers. The others don't. My family, because even those who claim to be so-called royalists, we don't even support William Charles or Kero Kamila. They mostly focus on Harry and Meghan, who they can't stand seeing living outside of the toxic, you know, institution of family. Who they can't stand seeing being happy, making money outside of the farm. My family may Harry and Meghan keep on making money, keep on thriving, and keep on being happy. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Love was a forever and may God bless our family. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always be great over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoy this video and learn a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.